Hey everybody, how are you? It's Peter again for MLB Trade Rumors and Discussions. It's Tuesday, March 31st, 2020, last day of March. We're going to keep this going every single day, no matter what. We're going to try to talk about sports all the time. We're going to finish baseball the whole time until something's happening. Today, alphabetically, I've been going over every single team. Yesterday was the Padres. Today is the Philadelphia Phillies. The Philadelphia Phillies have made a few really good moves, but the main thing I want to talk about, excuse me, the main thing I want to talk about is their coach. That was the big move to me, getting Joe Girardi. Joe Girardi, I was never a Yankee fan. But what he did with the New York Yankees on some teams that weren't really good with their pitching staff was phenomenal. Joe Girardi is a wonderful manager. Wonderful, okay? That guy has this ability to turn players, like he has this old school mentality. He just he has a likable personality. And I think if it wasn't for him and Cashman, maybe bashing heads, I honestly think that he should have stood there, okay? I really am a big fan of Girardi. Him going to Philadelphia is exactly what Harper, is exactly what Riamuto, exactly what they need. He's going to bring something there. He's not going to be nervous about Philly. It's not going to bother him. Kapler just didn't fit for that place, okay? They made a couple big moves, all right? Didi Gregorius. Didi is going to do extremely well in that ballpark. But if they do play 162 games, if that is possible, he will get 25 home runs. He will bat 280. Didi Gregorius is a solid ball player, okay? He had, had a lot of injuries, and the guy, if he plays, will do really well. He's going to go right in the middle of that lineup with Harper and Hoskins. He's going to do very well. Segura going over to third. If he stays healthy, I'm a big diehard Diamondback fan. We know how good he can play. He's a solid hitter. The other big move was Mr. Um, Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler, to me, is, it's like, you know, you're going to a casino, right? You're rolling these dice because the guy, honestly, is solid, but you know what was coming with him. You know the injuries that were happening. So you gave this guy a, a, over a hundred something million dollars, and Bumgarner was cheaper, okay? And honestly, I, I, I get it. He's pitched in the NL in his East this whole time, and I understand, I just, it's a very big caution because they have a solid pitcher in Nola, right? He's an ace. But after that, Arietta is just garbage. The guy just, I don't know, I don't know what happened. I don't know if he did roids, who knows. But the guy just lost it. He lost it. He, he doesn't know where the hell his ball is going. It's, if some innings, he just loses control. Sometimes he does really well, but you just don't know what you're getting from him. They got the hitting. Bryce Harper was a terrible move for me, right? I think that was a horrible move. I do think Girardi's going to help him. But they may clash. Girard, Harper just strikes to me as a guy who doesn't like somebody telling him what to do or tougher. But I think maybe this is what Harper needs. Somebody in his face. Somebody really tough like Girardi. I think it'll, I think it'll work out. But I'm not, I'm not too fond of Harper. You know, the guy just seems to be... Um, 275, 280, 30-something home run player. Good. Who, nobody's not doesn't want that. But for the money he's getting, it's insane. Right? Him and Machado. The money that they're getting, nobody's worth that money. Nobody. Okay? Philadelphia. Now, if you go around, Hoskins is due for a bounce back year. Right? They got an amazing catch in Rio Muto. The guy can hit. So you like that. You go to the outfield. McCutcheon's getting older. The guy's getting older, so I'm I'm not I'm not sure how that's gonna go. But to me, where their other their other problem is is their closer position, right? They really don't have a solid closer. They don't know who. I mean, I don't know if Maurice is still gonna close, but for them, it, it, it's that's not gonna work, right? I see Philadelphia winning maybe 80 to 82 games, 83 games, but I do see Girardi turning that franchise around right away. Maybe he's gonna see what he needs, and things are gonna change. Girardi is the guy to fix that team. Girardi just has this ability. He, he deserves all the credit for the Yankees, what he did in 2017. They should have beat the Astros that year. Okay, they should have beat the Astros. The way they played was amazing. And that went down to the last few pitches all the time, and it was a great series. And knowing what Astros did, it, it's just insane, you know? So I do think Philadelphia do well, but they're on the unfortunate part. They have the Atlanta Braves. And they have the Washington Nationals in their division. The Mets are good, but those are the two teams, really, Atlanta and Washington, that's going to be battling for the division. Philly will be on the outside looking in, but I expect them 
with the wild card and the rules changing and everything eventually I expect them to start maybe maybe in another two years I expect them to be solid I think they need another move this is all going to depend on Wheeler and how if Didi and Segura can stay healthy right and how Harper's going to do they have a lot a lot of question marks for that team but you got the right coach Kapler just wasn't the right guy you know all his analytics and stuff sometimes that just doesn't work you know, you, you can put as many things you want into a computer. And I know it, it helps, right? I don't want to be naive and sit there and say, hey, listen, oh, I'm old school and it doesn't really matter. It does matter, right? Of course, these little things matter. But sometimes when people take it too much, they're taking the baseball out of baseball, right? And that doesn't work. You can't, you can't put everything into a computer. It just doesn't work. You gotta have the mindset, and Girardi has that mindset. He he don't need a computer for this, you know. He he's an old school guy, and that's gonna help Philly. It's gonna fit right in with all the fans. It's just gonna fit like Charlie Manuel back. You know, Manuel's tough. You you know he don't get, he give a shit, and Girardi don't give a shit what you think. He's gonna do what he wants, which is what they need. And you know what? I, I I'm not a I, I Philly fans suck. I'm a New Jersey Devil fan. Hockey they're just miserable. The Eagles suck. Like I'm talking about the fans. Like the fans suck. Right? Philly fans are miserable. They're always just cocky and all this. I I, I can't with them. However, just talking about the team, I think they'll do something. I think they'll do maybe 82 wins, and I think a year after they'll start getting into like the high 80s to early to low 90s. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.